Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Pokemon Scorching Scarlet, the official video guide. Here we are in New York City. So, uh, you know, we have a nice little mark here. It's Pokemon Evolved, and there's a lot of low, e low HP, but you can buy super potions. You can also buy hyper potions, max potions, full restores, and etc. I'm getting an escape rope just in case I get lost in a cave. I'm just need to use it to get back to the entrance. Ah, fair enough. Also, in New York, they pretty much in all the Pokemon, except for basically Old Ale. They have the same stuff. Uh, you can buy all this fancy stuff. It's expensive to some extent, but it can help with training. If you buy like, a, um, like an EXP share, for instance. I think I actually will buy an experience share. It's going to cost a bit of money. But that way, we, you know, it'll help us with, uh, in terms of grinding and stuff. So all I have to do is give someone... Also, if you, uh, want... Um, you know, you can use the National Pokedex instead of the, uh, Owen one. If, if you so choose. So as far as training goes, um... Well, for right this second, I'm gonna give... I'm gonna give Fluffy the Lucky Egg, even though... I don't know who to get. I'll give Weaker the experience share because why not? Well, I probably should give it Spike, considering Spike kind of needs the uh, experience as well. Central perk. Upstairs, two flights up, looking out onto the street. For $86.50 a month, it's mine. It may not be much, but it's mine. Except on Wednesday night. It's walk, don't run. I just kill time until Mr. Kirkaby's done. With his Wednesday night fun. Outside of that, the place is mine. Upstairs, two flights up, looking out at the street. For $86.50 a month, it's mine. May not be much, but it's mine. Good for you. Good for you. Smelly cat, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? Um. Okay. Changed your name? Yes, I did. Meet Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. You really did that? Yep. All right, then I'm gonna change my name. Great. Okay, what are you gonna change it to? Crap bag. Mike Crap Bag? No, no Mike. Just Crap Bag. First name Crap, last name Bag. Oh my God. On a break! Okay, fair enough. Welcome to Central Perk. Our special today is blueberry scones. I also recommend the famous Central Perk latte. How can I help you? So here you can buy coffee and scones. I do recommend buying it. Not that expensive. A scone pretty much it heals a status item. It's a hold item. These can only be used as hold items, but they are consumable, so they can only be used once. Coffee is a hold item that restores HP of a Pokemon. Basically, it's kind of like a citrus berry, so I'm gonna buy some of these. They're not too bad, so... Oh my goodness, take all my money. Take all my money, please. Thank you, Gunther. Alright. Um, they're pretty good. Pretty good. So actually, I think I will give some coffee to our Pokemon. Just in case, you know, Rocky needs it or whatever. Or what have you. There's a promotion at my work, and they gave me these. Here, have one. Alright, we got a Premier Ball. Chandler Bing, it's time to see your thing. Joey! Okay, well. Um. That happened. How you doing? <laughs> Look, Seinfeld's on the television. George Costanza says, medium turkey chili, medium crab bisque. I didn't get any bread. Just forget, I'll let it go. Um, excuse me, I, I think you forgot my bread. Bread, two dollars extra. Two dollars? But everyone in front of me got free bread. You want bread? Yes, please. Three dollars! What? No, so for you! 
あ。
mess with Perry White. <laughs> Alright. So... A lot of NPCs, not too, too much, uh, really happening, big picture-wise. But hey, that's all cool. The Moon Dance Diner. Whenever, wherever, whatever happens, I'll always be friends with Pokemon, because it's fun to be with Pokemon. Hi, what's your name? Okay, that's nice. My name is Kiri. My mommy and daddy need me that, so I would grow healthy and warm-hearted. That's what they wish. You can have these. So that we got a Cornberry. And an Iapapa Berry. I wonder what kind of wish is included in your name. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. If you're born in springtime, do you like the spring? And if you're born in the summer, do you like the summer? Sure, why not? Then Kira was born in the autumn, so I love the autumn. What season do you like? Oh, well, then I guess I would like the summer. Hey there. Is there a Julio here? I am Julio. Mr. Pretentious. You think there's no one finer? Well, but your poems aren't published and you work in a diner. You're no God's gift to women. That's all in your head. You are just a butt munch. No one likes a butt munch, and you're all so bad in bed. <laughs> okay. So many references. <laughs> I apologize to people who might not get every reference. Which is probably most people. I'm sorry. If there's anything I've learned in my years on stage, it's that stars are rare, and when they're found, you have to let them shine. I hate everybody doesn't mean that they have to hate me too. Okay. I suppose you have a point, but still. Why does everyone assume I'm angry all the time? It's called being sassy. I'm pretty, but I ain't dumb. Okay. Sure. Sure. Nothing wrong with that. My body is like a rum chocolate souffle. If I don't warm it up right, it doesn't rise. Don't you think now's the time to be adventurous while we're still young? Sure, why not? Why not? Why does Felix have to be so clean all the time? He drives me insane! Oscar, 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 were you raising a barn? Oh yeah, and I don't like pits in my juice, but that was a nice try. Okay. until I meet the next person. You know, the next time you give your clothes away, why don't you just stay in them? As appealing as hepatitis sounds, yellow is just not my color. Um, well, I guess I see your point. Let me be your star. No matter what happens next, don't ever doubt your star. Okay. Oh, if you see someone's hurt and in need of a hand, or hear a melody crying for some baby grand, you don't forget me. Okay. Fair enough. They can still be my friends and be wrong about the right path for our country. Um, okay. You know, when she goes rogue, everyone around her gets hurt. I want to figure out before we have to go clean it up later. Um, that doesn't sound very pleasant. Not gonna lie. You want to beat the bad guys with folk songs and hugs? That, ne that has never worked. I suppose it hasn't, so I guess you have a point. But still, um, I, I don't think violence is really ever the real answer, but hey, you never know. He doesn't know how to make small talk. Okay. Whoever he is. By the way, there are NPCs that are actually not here because we are in censored mode. Literally, censored mode just takes people who say things that need to be censored and just takes them out. I didn't really change the dialogue, I just took them out of the game. It's made it easier. But... So there are more NPCs that I'm not going to be talking to because, um, because I like to uh, have a wider audience. 
Isn't it a bit early for beer? Depends on what, um, depends on what kind of day you're having. Wow. Hey, Foggy. Can I get some aspirin? You sure you don't want an x-ray? Maybe a psyche veil? Aspirin's fine, buddy. We're both one day gonna be fine, upstanding members of the legal profession. El, El Grande... How do you say lawyers in Spanish? Lawyers? Avocados. El Grande avocados. That's not Spanish. That's fruit. It's a vegetable, at least. Um... Okay. I hate feeling this way. I don't know how you handle it. It's called whiskey. <laughs> um... Okay. You can't fix me. I'm unbreakable. Um... If you say so. New York may be the city that never sleeps, but it sure sleeps around. Um... Say so. After a while, you just want to be with the one that makes you laugh. Um, okay. Whatever happened to aging gracefully? Got old. <laughs> Think about it. If you're single, after graduation, there isn't one occasion where people celebrate you. Homework doesn't make a congratulations you didn't marry the right, the wrong guy card. Where's the flatware for going on vacation alone? The fact is, sometimes it's really hard to walk in a single woman's shoes. Um, in a single woman's shoes. That's why we need really special ones now and then to make the walk a little more fun. If you say so. Whatever. Oh, hey, there's a wingle here. So many NPCs. You know you really got a um, you really got a home because when you leave it, there's this feeling that you can't shake. You just miss it. Hmm. I think I see where you're coming from. So let's you know see what else is in New York. I don't think we're actually gonna get to the gym today. Because there's so much stuff in here. Alright. But that's okay, because maybe we should do some grinding, perhaps, before heading into the gym? I don't know. That's a Tokopi! Alright. What do you mean you want $40 for a lamp? Just what I said, we don't have a decent lamp by to read by. Listen, Apple, if you want to read, you can read by firelight. It was good enough for Abraham Lincoln, it's good enough for you. Oh, don't drag your boyhood pals, Fred. <laughs> Imagine me meeting a queen face to face. I'm scared. You're scared? Think of the queen! Wow, I think they might have issues, perhaps. Lucy, I'm home! Hello, friends. I'm your Vitamina Vegemin Girl. Are you tired, run down, listless? Do you pop? Do you poop out of parties? Are you unpopular? The answer to all your problems is in this little bottle. Vitamina Vegemin. Yes, Vitamina Vegemin contains vitamins, meat, vegetables, and minerals. Yes, with Vitamina Vegemin, you can spoon your way to health. All you do is take a great big tablespoon after every meal. Hmm, it's so tasty too. It's just like candy. So why don't you join all the thousands of happy, happy people and get a great big bottle of Vitamina Vegemin tomorrow? That's Vitamina Vegemin. possibly go wrong. <laughs> um, I only seem liberal because I believe that hurricanes are caused by high barometric pressures and not gay marriage. Congressman Michelle Bachman, founder of the Tea Party Caucus, who herself had a difficult relationship with reality, ignores the statement from the White House. 
very young out there. I know, but what they lack in experience, they make up for in, in inexperience. Mac. It's an asset. They don't know how to do this badly yet. Or really at all. What's the difference between a corporation and a person? Have you ever held a door open for someone? Yes. Did you ask them for money first? No. That's the difference. Ah. Fair enough. I don't... I don't get it, Henry. A person who, uh... A person would have to live ten lives to pick up everything you have. Or just one very long one. Correct me if I'm wrong. You never died in a train crash before, have you? No, I have not. They say this is cause for celebration. It's not the number of years we live that matters. Our lives just add up to a series of moments. We never know when or where they'll happen, but they stick with us, marking our souls forever. Ah. Oh. Facing death demands celebrating life. Tonight, we feast. Okay. Fair enough. Mom might like this program. Uh, maybe she would, maybe she would. Who really knows? Nothing's definite. This Dad might like this program. Hmm. Maybe. You never really know now, do you? Well, McLaren's Pub. Well, might as well check this place out. Yeah, I tried battling Clally, but I just, just wasn't strong enough. I guess you weren't. I should try to train Pokemon. On second thought, I'll just order another beer. Ah, well, sure. I'll have a scotch on the rocks. I've got a phone call for Swarly? Is there a Swarly here? <laughs> oh dear. Lawyered! Hey, nice shirt, Ted. Is it yesterday already? <laughs> I thought you said it was going to be a piece of cake. I remember, because you were eating a piece of cake at the time, and you said, my class is gonna be this. Last year, you got left at the altar, you lost your job, you've come such a long way since then. I'm so proud of you, Ted. You deserve to slap someone in his face as hard as you can. <laughs> Suit up! This is gonna be a legend! Wait for it, and I hope you're not lactose intolerant, because the second half of that word is dairy! Legendary! Alright. Uh, anything in the trash can? Nope. Also, there's an apartment up here. Go figure. They seem to all be in the bar, though. Hmm. Well, pretty big bar, I must say. Well. So, New York City Pokemon Gym Leader Chloe. The information-loving Watchtower. So... I apologize if you're not surprised to pass. Alright, so we can't go that way. Uh, we also, you know, not authorized to go up this way, up Route 12. So, you know, that's pretty much New York for us for now. Uh, have you taken the Pokemon Gym Challenge when you get that shiny gym badge in hand? I guess the trainers begin to realize what's required of them. Sure, why not? Howdy do, this is Peter McAllister, the father. I'd like a hotel room, please, with an extra large bed, a TV, and one of those little refrigerators you have to open with a key. Credit card? You got it! Uh, I don't think I'll ever see that movie the same way again, due to, uh, recent events, let's just say. Alright, move tutor. Yes, I would like to remember a move, please. Yes, thank you. Alright, let's 
Spike wants to learn a move. Let's go learn Payday. Because it's a good move. Alright. Good, but, you know, I don't need Swagger. I don't need to play those games. I don't need to play those games. Now, I kind of want to learn Spark in place of Volt Tackle, only because I don't like the, uh... I know Volt Tackle is a better move, technically, but at the same time, I don't... Volt Tackle's a better move. It does more power. Quite substantially more. Although it does have that recoil, which kind of sucks. If this were a Nuzlocke, I definitely would drop uh, Volt Tackle in a heartbeat. But still. That said, next time, we're gonna go ahead in this gym to take on the first gym leader, Chloe. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time we head into the New York City gym. Goodbye.